In this boot camp session, we will present the end-to-end -end Lakeside SysTrack business intelligence solutions that support a successful implementation and management of the VMware View business process desktop. The business process desktop was designed to deliver desktops as a managed service to contact center agents, offshore developers, and outsourced workers. The VMware View business process desktop, fortified with SysTrack, drives down operational costs and provides end users with a highly responsive computing experience across networks and locations. Today we're going to start with a brief introduction of Lakeside Software and talk a little bit about our industry partners. We'd like to help define what the SysTrack value proposition is so you can better position the solution as part of your delivery model. And a lot of that will take form as we talk in a little bit more detail about the actual design and planning advantages of SysTrack. We will talk about SysTrack's end-to-end -end management and monitoring capabilities. Then we'll attack the big why question. Why is SysTrack important to VMware from a sales perspective? And why do customers embrace SysTrack? And finally, we'll talk a little bit about what the next steps are in moving forward. Lakeside Software has been around for more than 15 years. We got our start developing terminal services management tools, and so we're pretty firmly rooted in virtualization technology. Shortly thereafter, we developed server and desktop solutions, rounding out our platform base, and we continue to develop solutions that drive value for our customers. We're a very engineering-driven company, and pretty deep in terms of what our technical solutions can do and our ability to react quickly when we see an opportunity in the market. Lakeside holds a number of patents, most notably for our distributed database architecture. And that is what allows us to collect enormous volumes of data, scale to over a million systems, and do so at a very low cost in terms of network and resource load. When we talk about the quality and quantity of data, one of the themes you're going to hear over and over is visibility. Visibility into the end user environment and the insights we harvest from that broad visibility is at the core of every successful view project. Our solution is agent-based, and we tend to like to get out in front of this pretty quickly. So it's important to note, it has no driver or kernel mode components, so it's not going to blue screen a system. We have our Certificate of Networthiness from the U.S. Army, our DIACAP certification from the Navy and the DOD. So our tool has been installed in some of the most secure and sensitive environments in the world and has been tested and put under a great deal of scrutiny. And today, there are over 3 million systems under SysTrack management in more than 60 countries. So now we come to the gratuitous logo slide. And I say that a little tongue-in-cheek because everyone has this as part of their messaging. But the reality is we are quite proud of our industry recognition and especially our key strategic partnerships. And so when organizations like VMware, Microsoft, AppDNA, Wise, and others acknowledge the value of SysTrack by partnering with Lakeside to deliver an integrated solution, it's validating and in the end really helps everyone. SysTrack is an empowering technology. So organizations like WISE and AppDNA leverage the data and analytics derived from SysTrack to deliver better value and ultimately generate more sales volume. Likewise, VMware is doing the same thing. I don't think anyone in this room will deny VMware has a superior virtualization platform. But also, all of us are intimately familiar with the complexity and challenges of delivering VIEW projects. And those challenges very often have less to do about VIEW and more about the complex and diverse landscapes of desktop computing. So again, we get back to visibility. Being able to automate the data collection, the analysis, and the reporting to empower delivery teams to make the right decisions for successful outcomes. That's what SysTrack does, and really is definitive in terms of our partnership with you. Talking about the challenges of delivering successful view projects is kind of a nice transition into explaining what SysTrack does. And I'm going to keep it sort of high level. Clearly, there's a lot of moving parts in any desktop virtualization project. There's workloads for apps and systems, users. There's aggregate workloads for sizing. There's mobility, application usage, application delivery, peripheral devices, and on and on. And so getting your head around all of that and making sense of it in order to make informed decisions is often where the breakdown occurs. I'd like to take a minute and relate a story that was told to me by our CTO. I think it does a really good job of drawing a comparison to what we do in the desktop space and sort of gives it a real-world frame of reference. 
and it starts on a recent flight back from the West Coast. Um, there was a golf magazine in the seat back, uh, and our CTO grabbed it, and there was this interesting article that he read, and it was about how IT has changed the way golf professionals are playing golf on the PGA Tour. Some years back, they started creating this giant database that catalogs every shot from every player, from every round, from every event. It captures all the conditions like temperature, wind, fairway and rough cut. It catalogs yardage, club selections, pin placements, and really all the variables that go into getting the golf ball from the tee to the cup. Back in the day, a PGA pro would arrive at a tournament at the beginning of the week, and they would talk to the locals. They'd golf a few rounds with the club members and find out how to score in the course, and then they'd play the tournament. Today, they're using all of this data that they've compiled, and it's really changed their approach to every event. Instead of relying on anecdotal information and what the locals say, they're using real and lots of quantifiable data compiled over time, and they can see what scores on a specific course, what they need to work on based on the strengths and weaknesses of their game, and then they practice accordingly. I really like this example because it's very much like what we're doing in the desktop space. The information for how users, systems, and applications behave and interrelate has always been there, but nobody's ever written it down. So if you look at the way desktop engineering and help desk has historically operated, it's based on that best practice, which is sort of that uh, tribal knowledge thing. And so today, we have all these ways to deliver applications. It's not just physical desktop. We have physical, we have virtual, we have terminal servers, we have virtualized apps, streamed apps, published apps. And with all these different methods to deliver applications, we're starting to see the consumerization of IT in terms of endpoint devices. So all of a sudden, we have all these choices, and at its essence, what the SysTrack data does is it helps you to understand how all these elements are being used, how they fit, and then it enables the decision process by drawing in all of this real-world data. And I know that this was kind of a roundabout way to explain what SysTrack does, but the analogy sort of resonated with me, and I hope it did with you too, to maybe better illustrate what it is we do. One of the advantages of SysTrack is that it is out-of-the-box ready. It is simple to install and deploy, a couple of easy configuration items, and you're immediately collecting data. Combine that with a methodology proven over 15 years, and you have a solution for delivering successful view projects. But more than that, you have a solution that you and the customer can use to continue to grow that virtualization environment, and just as important, monitor, manage, and optimize ongoing. Architecturally, we have an agent-based approach. And it's necessary because mobility is real in the world we live in. It's everywhere. And what people do with computer equipment when they're mobile is arguably at least as important as when they're back on the corporate network. It also deals nicely with the volume and enterprise scale and the security concerns. People that build agentless tools require a way to cache the credentials for all the devices on the network, which is not tractable at enterprise level security. So by employing an agent-based approach, and not just utilizing an agent, but decentralizing the data store. Remember we talked about the patented distributed database architecture. SysTrack keeps most of the data very close to where it is, so we drive virtually no network traffic, because the data store fragment is close to the agent, which is close to the user, it deals with mobility, and it scales. And extreme scale is possible, because as we add a thousand more track users, we add a thousand more data fragments and the time it takes to search one of those fragments remains roughly linear. Quantity of data is great, and SysTrack is designed to collect a lot, but it's more than that. It's the quality of the data. We talked about all the moving parts of VDI. SysTrack provides deep visibility and insights into what applications are installed, what apps are installed and used, installed and not used, what is the workload demand for the applications, versioning, what operating systems exist, back-end server dependencies, network device dependencies, peripheral devices, and on and on. And it's not just the data collection, but the analytics and the way the information is presented. It's delivered in a way that is actionable, and it really drives that informed decision process, which again, in the end, translates into successful outcomes. In a broader context, the underlying data mine that is the foundation for all of the SysTrack solutions can also be integrated into the fabric of a customer's existing IT processes and business systems, resulting in better service delivery and better decision making. That said, frequently SysTrack is employed as a point solution, and its expanded capabilities get leveraged from there. 
we build lots of solutions and when you look at these solutions you may look at our tools and if we didn't lay this data foundation first at some point you'd say well I see virtualization assessment win 7 migrations app rationalization forensics app fault detection and what do these applications have to do with each other and independently sometimes they have nothing to do with each other but what they all have in common is they take advantage of this quality underlying data mine to solve a business problem so in a lot of cases when you look at desktop assessment it's not related to the help desk tool directly except that it builds on top of that same infrastructure but once you put an infrastructure in place for any one of these SysTrack solutions all of the solutions become enabled because they all draw off that same data mine so what does this mean to you let's take PC power management as an example SysTrack has one of the most robust and sophisticated physical PC power management solutions on the market and with more and more companies adopting green initiatives reducing energy consumption and carbon emissions is a priority the energy savings from a PC power management program can be significant as well what if you could present as part of your view discussion a way to fund that desktop virtualization project through PC energy savings maybe a customer isn't ready for a full-on VDI project but is ready to look at their applications and start that app rationalization or thin app project maybe it's a win 7 implementation that can be folded into a view pilot again like I stated earlier once you put a SysTrack infrastructure in place for any one solution all of the solutions become enabled sometimes it's about being creative in your approach to selling view and SysTrack can provide these different on-ramps that can lead to view projects either directly or indirectly the SysTrack VDI solution was built as a project workflow solution and you can see from the graphic that it starts with the SysTrack data mine, it leverages the solutions we build on top of that foundation, and it ends with an optimized VMware client environment. SysTrack provides all the information and analytics for identifying use cases, creating and optimizing images, creating desktop pools, application rationalization, aggregate workload for sizing for CPU, memory, storage, and IOPS, being able to actually model a virtual desktop environment before implementation it's a critical part of the workflow process for delivering VDI now and ongoing across an end-user computing estate and then there's the ongoing monitoring and management of the environment SysTrack provides comprehensive user experience information quality scoring and proactive performance management for meeting SLAs and continually improving the delivery of desktops and applications the SysTrack suite is a true end-to-end -end solution for delivering VDI and it should not go unnoticed that at the end of this workflow is a VMware optimized client environment that is the finish line but getting there can be very challenging and that's what SysTrack does it provides that roadmap for accelerating view adoption and delivering successful projects assessment and qualification is one part of the workflow process and we'll differentiate between assessment and design and plan later in the presentation but for now we'll talk a little bit about assessment and the site visualizer and enterprise visualizer interfaces they are web-based and provide deep and wide visibility into the current state of the desktop environment and we'll start up at the top at the dashboard view with the big pie chart this gives a quick analysis of VDI readiness for the collection of systems under SysTrack management green is good that's the low-hanging fruit these are the systems that are ready for virtualization now yellow and red are systems that have variables that could be cause for concern and we're careful to categorize them as quote unquote concerns clearly every infrastructure is different solution paths differ and really you could probably virtualize almost anything if you threw enough capacity and horsepower at it from there we move to the concurrency graph and this tells us how many users are actively logged into their systems throughout the week and we break that out by actively logged in systems that are in screen lock logged off disconnected or turned off and this visibility is important in comparing the number of total users with the number that are concurrently logged in at any given time below that is the user profile graph this is a bubble graph it presents CPU demand on the vertical axis and memory demand on the horizontal axis and when you hover over the bubble you get a list of names of users that fall into that demand profile and we'd expect most of them to fall in that lower left area of the graph but it's nice to see the outliers and decide what you want to do with them and that could be discount or eliminate them altogether 
or perform a deeper analysis to either determine why that user is consuming so much resource and perhaps mitigate or remediate if, if that's in the plan. And then we have the bar graph of the software packages by user count. So you can quickly see which are the most used application packages in the environment. From the dashboard, we can start to really deep dive into specific data sets. And remember, the tool was designed for VDI assessment. So elements or variables that may be cause for alarm or closer scrutiny will appear in yellow or red. And again, we're not drawing a definitive conclusion that this candidate can't be virtualized we're just calling attention to a variable that could be potentially problematic. The breadth of information is large, like application hangs and crashes, to quickly evaluate the stability of the application environment. We break out workload demand by user, application, and systems, and understanding that demand at all three levels is important. Applications and software packages and their associated workloads, usage and readiness for virtualization via ThinApp. If there are concerns for app virtualization, what are they? Is there a service, a driver, a plugin, or a shell extension associated with the application? We'll capture and present all of that information. We know almost every view project is going to include some sort of application virtualization dialogue at some point. So think about SysTrack and how you approach your customer engagements. Not every opportunity is going to start as a full-on view project. Some customers want to walk before they run. And an app rationalization or a thin app project can materialize before the actual desktop virtualization project. SysTrack provides not just an inventory of applications and software packages, but comprehensive usage statistics. And usage is the key factor in how and what you deliver. SysTrack provides deep insights into the applications so you can quickly identify good candidate applications, those with no concerns, and then start focusing and evaluating those applications that have some level of complexity from a shell extension to an office plugin to a driver or a service. And so again, we get back to that visibility and having the information to make the informed decisions and the right decisions to deliver successful projects. I talked earlier about differentiating between assessment and design and plan. Assessment is a start point. It's effectively a now map of the environment. And while the data is important and provides broad insights, it does very little in telling you how to actually deliver a view project. And quite often, this is where the project stalls. Assessment is still just data. You have to extract the data, combine certain data sets, analyze the data, and then assemble it in a report form that makes sense. And this hand-to-hand -hand combat approach is time-consuming and fraught with potential problems. This is where you start to see scope creep and project milestone slippage. And when these projects start taking on water, it's often hard to recover. SysTrack Virtual Machine Planner, or VMP, takes all the data we've collected for 30 days and based on some user inputs, provides a comprehensive virtualization delivery plan. At its core, VMP is a statistical probability modeling tool. It aggregates all of the workloads for CPU, memory, storage, IOPS, and network utilization. And here, I'll just pose the question, how do you provision for storage and host hardware if you don't have a clear understanding of what that demand footprint looks like in the environment? And the answer is, it's a best guess. And the result is, you either under, or in most cases, over provision. And we've instrumented this solution to be view project specific, so it'll take into account the advantages of memory overcommit, link clones, and view composer. SysTrack and VMP eliminates that best guess approach. And as I said, it's a modeling tool. So you can provide the specifications for your hypervisor or reference architecture. And based on that aggregate workload, VMP will tell you how many hypervisors you'll need to allocate. It will even associate VMs with hypervisors, effectively building out the environment. All of the demand data is time of day correlated. So we not only understand what that demand is, but we also understand when. So VMP will build that VM environment, spreading the workload out as evenly as possible across all the hypervisors. Maybe you don't have a hardware spec, and this is going to be a sizing exercise. That's fine. It's a modeling tool. It's iterative. And you can run as many models as many different ways as you want. The aggregate demand variable in the model at this point is a known quantity and a constant. And how things lay out architecturally has a lot to do with how much capacity you have. So sizing is a big piece, but perhaps the most challenging is delivering applications, creating use cases, desktop pools, and consolidating images. 
Part of the SysTrack VMP is the Image Provision Planner facility. From there, you can perform an actual application rationalization exercise. And it is from there that a lot of the decisions will be made about what applications, usage, what is going to be supported moving forward, what is not, versioning and retargeting. How are the applications going to be delivered through thin app or native on an image? VMP automates this process, provides full reporting, and again, is leveraging the power of that underlying data mine. Think about this from a delivery or a consultant perspective. SysTrack will automatically create a series of reports that, depending on the size of the engagement, will be in the ballpark of about 80 pages. You'll get a high-level executive summary, a port usage report, a migration plan, a technical analysis, and one of my favorites, the storage report. This provides a detailed breakout of the storage requirements, and it also provides the aggregate IOPS workload, and it breaks it out by total, total reads, total writes, averages, mins, maxes, and it graphs that data for an entire week, as well as for each individual day. All of this, and you don't have to fat finger in a single sentence, word, or even a letter. VMP creates the reports automatically. So when you're thinking about the VIEW project, and what are you going to present to the customer, you don't have to stay up till 4 in the morning the night before you present creating reports and presentation information. SysTrack will already have it. And it's always nice to go into a meeting like that with an end-to-end -end solution and let them know you actually modeled this environment based on their actual workload. And let them know that this is what you can expect based on your data. That's powerful stuff. We also include a cost model, an ROI and TCO analysis breaking this out in cost and savings over year one all the way out to year five. And we all know there isn't always a clear cost savings associated with desktop virtualization, but there are cost savings, often realized through softer costs like reduced support requirements and increased productivity. And with SysTrack, we can track and quantify that. And by helping the customer understand the technical roadmap, along with the financial model, this actually does help accelerate the adoption rates of VIEW. You have a plan, you can defend that plan, and it's all supported by the customer's own data. From a management perspective, through our SysTrack Enterprise Visualizer, there is now a way for management, all the way up to the C-level, to have visibility into the quality and health of the desktop environment, be that virtual and or physical. SysTrack can take the individual system, user, and application health data and aggregate that across individual groups, lines of business, or even across an entire enterprise. In any new view project, there is going to be a heightened sense of awareness for things like performance. And the fact that some systems and some users are just better off being physical, and then having the ability to proactively identify performance bottlenecks and pinch points, and having the technology and process to be able to mitigate and remediate problems, and continually optimize the desktop environment, is truly the linchpin for successful view implementations and outcomes. From Enterprise Visualizer, we move to Site Visualizer. Site Visualizer provides individual system user and application data, health and quality scoring, application stability, and a wide variety of other information required to optimize and improve an existing desktop environment. This is a closed loop system, so that at a very high level, you can identify trends and potential problems. To the site visualizer, you can gain significant insights into what those performance problems are, and then utilizing the SysTrack analysis tools, drill down all the way to a process level to determine, in most cases, the root cause. With that process and the SysTrack technology, there is now an end-to-end -end path for continually optimizing the desktop environment and ensuring positive outcomes in your view implementations. What do you or a customer IT support do when somebody calls in and complains that their VM is slow? You know, is there enough resource available in the VM itself? Maybe it's a host resource problem. Maybe it's a PC over IP protocol issue. Maybe a network latency problem. Maybe it's application related. There is far greater complexity and a lot more variables to consider when doing a root cause analysis on a VM. And SysTrack provides a single tool to be able to identify problems, perform root cause analysis, and in most cases, mitigate or remediate the problem. 
And the process and information works equally as well for physical systems, persistent VMs, as well as non-persistent VMs. We talked about the customer's heightened sensitivity to this new desktop landscape. There is little margin for error in general, and especially when there is a perceived problem. So getting out in front of that problem and being able to quickly identify and resolve problems are critical to ensuring the success of every view implementation. Through the SysTrack Resolve application, you can now identify problems quickly from a single pane of glass and address potential problems often before a customer even complains. When a user does complain and enters a trouble ticket, IT support can quickly determine, is this a VM or a physical system? What is the OS? How much memory and CPU has been allocated? Are there any potential problems on that system that could be impacting performance, and what are they? All of this, and the support person never has to speak with the end user. Again, we get back to being able to resolve problems quickly and efficiently before they escalate and potentially derail an existing or larger future view implementation. In this new shared resource model, understanding back-end server and network device dependencies are more important than ever. SysTrack, through its Resolve interface, can provide a unique and specific dependency map for each system under SysTrack management. This becomes a very important troubleshooting tool to identify potential application latency issues, network latency issues, and or back-end device issues. And with the SysTrack suite, it doesn't stop at just identifying a problem. In most cases, you have the ability with SysTrack to pinpoint the cause and remediate. We know there are going to be issues, and being able to control their impact is largely dependent on how quickly these issues can be identified and resolved. SysTrack provides the technology and process to be able to do exactly that. Part of that problem resolution process includes the ability to provide remote assistance, and SysTrack, as part of its closed loop system, provides that capability. And as we continue to present a lot of this management capability, we want to position this in a way that makes sense to you from a view delivery perspective. I say this frequently because we do spend a lot of time on the front end doing assessment and design and plan for view implementations. And while you cannot underscore enough the importance of proper planning and implementation, the rubber meets the road when you start moving users from their physical systems to their VMs. And so you, VMware, need to be just as focused on how you're going to manage and optimize that view environment ongoing to ensure a successful outcome. We talked about optimizing the new view environment, and a big part of that is focusing in on the user. Is the user receiving a good computer experience? The applications the users are utilizing? How they are performing? What kind of impact are they having on the VM or on the infrastructure? Is it possible that a specific user should be moved back to a physical device? What websites are the users accessing? What is the daily usage pattern for a specific user? And on and on. And so as part of that process, and I really do want to punctuate process, because part of your job and our job is to educate the customer and hopefully help define that expectation. This is not about flipping a switch and all of a sudden everything is perfect because we virtualized 5,000 users. This is a process and customers are going to be a lot more receptive and understanding when there is a problem or a performance issue as long as this is constructed in a way that provides for visibility, identification, and resolution. And that's what SysTrack provides. Asset auditing and change history. As part of the ongoing monitoring and management, SysTrack will benchmark a VM or physical system, providing a full hardware and software inventory. And then from that point on, document any changes that take place on that system. So when a user calls in and says, my system has been slow ever since 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon, one of the first things you're going to want to know is what's changed. And that may provide your first clue as to what might be causing the slowdown. So again, more SysTrack capability to be able to quickly and efficiently resolve problems and continually optimize and improve the environment. One thing we can count on is that nothing stays static in a desktop computing environment. The way we deliver applications today may change tomorrow. And so understanding applications 
and especially workloads associated with applications, becomes increasingly important. SysTrack calculates CPU, memory, and I.O. workloads generated by applications and provides active to load ratios so that you can make better decisions about what applications get supported and in what way. And again, this is part of that optimization process to be able to continually monitor and improve the way you deliver desktops and applications to end users. And that includes view implementations as well as physical and the overarching desktop environment in general. Application fault detection. Understanding the stability of the application environment is critical, especially in a shared resource model. Are apps hanging or crashing? Are they blue screening? Are there memory leaks? Is this happening to one system, five systems, or hundreds of systems? What is the frequency of the fault? Being able to understand that at a single system level and then in the aggregate across a group or an entire enterprise is important. SysTrack provides that visibility into the application environment, again, as part of that ongoing optimization process. SysTrack also has a billing facility for customers that enforce chargeback by department, line of business, and in the shared resource view model, it's likely really important for customers enforcing chargeback. I'm not a huge fan of throwing around Gartner statistics, but this one I thought was rather telling. And it speaks directly to what we've been talking about here today, and that is effectively and proactively monitoring and managing the desktop environment. And the cost savings can be as much as 42%. These so-called soft costs sometimes don't get the attention they deserve, not like a capital expense like a HP Blade or an EMC storage device. Those are very easy to quantify. Savings and line items like total cost of ownership, while a little less easy to quantify, still have a direct and a very significant impact on the bottom line. And that's something that we need to be able to articulate to customers, and we can do so inside of SysTrack. We've covered a variety of topics all around desktop management and optimization and the importance of being able to provide the same level of visibility post-virtualization as pre and having the process and methodology to be able to proactively monitor, manage, and optimize both the virtual and physical desktop environment, specifically as it relates to a view implementation. A big part of the message today is ensuring success and expanding that view footprint based on that success. Our in the guest management capability is best in class, and combined with a process and methodology proven over 15 years, we are confident this will position VMware as a go-to solution moving forward from a POC or a pilot. We do not compete with, but are complementary to vCenter and VC Ops, and together we provide a comprehensive management solution. We all know the challenges associated with selling view. And while we talk about accelerating the adoption rate of view, getting more traction, and going wide and deep, the reluctance of customers is real. And it's understandable. These are big impact kind of changes. And while us technical types can appreciate the value of view, ESX, vSphere, at the end of the day for the customer, it's still just a virtualization platform, and it just needs to work. So understanding that customer environment identifying potential problems, and in most cases with SysTrack, providing insights and visibility that even the customer IT hasn't had, and by wrapping that into a proven and repeatable process, you're no longer a quote-unquote risk, you're now a viable and credible solution, and customers are going to be much more receptive to that. And so we look at our partner base, and we have the big SIs like HP, IBM, CSC, we have over 400 channel partners across the world. And so your partners will be talking about and using Lakeside and SysTrack. I have a quick story. Last fall, I was out at a customer site. It was a local Tier 1 automotive supplier. And as I met with several stakeholders in various meetings, I met representatives from HP, IBM, EMC, and VMware, all on the same day, at the same customer, working on the same project. And we have partnerships with all four. And that's not so unusual. We have HP, IBM, and partners building services and actual practices around the SysTrack tool set. On the channel side, we utilize a large channel partner network. They are trained and certified on the SysTrack technology and employ the same proven methodology for delivering successful view projects. 
and having a proven and repeatable process is one of the primary keys to our success. And that, of course, has a direct and positive impact on you. We also have integration consulting partners like HP, IBM, CSC, Accenture. As I said, these organizations are building services and business practices around the SysTrack solutions. I talked about us being an empowering technology, and these organizations leverage our BI data mine, our point solutions, our process and methodology to accelerate sales and increase revenue. They found that when they sell a dollar of SysTrack, that translates into, on average, 15x in product pull-through sales for things like services, servers, storage, and thin clients. And this really underscores the value we bring to VMware with those relationships and further positioning of view. VMware has built a lot of equity in its brand, its technology, and has always been the accepted virtualization standard. The great thing is you're always in the conversation and will almost always be at the table. Sure, there's competition, but the biggest hurdles really reside with customers. As I alluded to earlier, there is a perceived risk with almost any desktop virtualization project, and you're never going to get to the end of a project if you can't get it started and maintain positive momentum. SysTrack is going to empower you, or a partner, or an SI, to provide deep visibility into a customer's end-user landscape, usually providing insights and information to the customer they never had. Combine that with the process, the data, the reports, the design and plan. You'll instill confidence in the customer, mitigate the risk, and start seeing more traction. View and the VMware platform will stand on its own. We know that. But getting to that point is the challenge and SysTrack is how you get there. We briefly talked about the various on-ramps to a desktop virtualization project, and they're not always direct. SysTrack, with its data mine and point solutions, can be that facilitator. It can take a Win7 migration project and transition it into a view project, likewise with application rationalization or app virtualization. So from a sales perspective, think about SysTrack and how you might be able to leverage SysTrack to sell Vue. When a customer asks, how do you know Vue is the right solution for my users in my organization? The answer is, you don't. Not until you can do an assessment. And as you start to frame much of what we discussed today about discovery and analysis, that's the direction you'd want every customer to go in anyways. Let us tell you why, and here's how. So again, I'm back to that whole getting started and getting that positive momentum thing. That's how SysTrack helps you to sell Vue. So in summary, the SysTrack technology and the process, which includes the initial assessment phase, continuing on to design and plan, and then implementing an actual POC, this is where you validate everything you and SysTrack have done to that point, and then the ongoing monitoring, management, and optimization of that environment. We talked about traction, and your best source of new business is your existing customer base, and especially your successful implementations to further grow that existing view footprint. The rubber meets the road when you migrate from physical to virtual, and so having the tools and capability to manage, optimize, and grow that environment then becomes your next most important goal. That is a critical aspect of the SysTrack process and for expanding that view presence. That concludes today's presentation. I'd like to thank you for your time and encourage you to reach out to your SysTrack representative if you have any questions, need access to the portal, or need anything in general. And thanks again.